Good morning, I'm Melissa Martin and this is the Riverhawk News for Friday, February 4, 2022. February is Black History Month. Why? According to History.com, the story of Black History Month begins in 1915. The Harvard-trained historian Carter G. Woodson and the promoter minister Jesse E. Moreland found the Association of the Study of Black Life and History, an organization dedicated to researching and promoting achievements by black Americans of peoples of African descent. February was chosen to collide with the birthdays of Fendrick Douglas and Abraham Lincoln. SJTV will be celebrating black history all month with stories about black Americans who inspire us. SJTV reporters went to the Garden Club to see what is happening in the garden. Hi, Ms. Harmon from SJTV, and we're here at the Go Green Garden Club, and we're going to talk to the teacher who advises this club. Hi, Mr. Morris. Hi, how's it going? Good. Um, why did you start the Go Green Garden Club? Well, I'm an avid gardener myself. Uh, I love gardening, and I love the planet we live on, and there's so many problems with it. And so in the Go Green Garden Club, I wanted students to have an opportunity to get involved in gardening and doing something good for the planet. Do you, um, do you have a goal at the end of the year, what you want the, goal, the garden club to look like or the garden to look like? Yeah, um, at the end of the year, I want a summer garden to be started and rolling. Um, I, the goal I have is for um, the garden space to be a safe, beautiful place where we can all walk by and be proud of this piece of our campus. Awesome. What is your name? It's Kyle. Uh, my name is Maxwell. My name is Alyssa Dankoff. Why are you in the Go Green Club? Because um, I don't want the campus to be um, dirtier. Uh, I'm in the Go Green Club because I want to participate in this club. I'm in the Go Green Club because I, I was kind of tired of seeing all the trash around campus and I was honestly interested in the garden. What are you looking forward to in the club? I'm looking forward to um, make this campus uh, a better place and the lack of um, the lack of people cleaning it, I, I want to help it. Well, my favorite thing to do in the garden club is probably uh, grow plants, but yeah. Uh, we mostly take care of the garden, but we also do other things. Like right now, we're actually planning a lunchtime activity. Do you do anything outside of the gardening club to help clean the campus? Uh, yeah, I pick up some trash um, outside of the place. Uh, yes, I throw my trash away. Uh, we actually sometimes go around with buckets and we clean up the campus ourselves. Um, so next week, uh, the, the starting on the 7th and then the 8th, we'll be doing sign-ups for 7th grade lunch. We're going to be doing an activity called Green Team Challenge, where 7th graders are going to form teams of four, and then those teams are going to have a limited amount of time on Wednesday the 9th at 7th grade lunch to go around and collect as much garbage as they can, and the team that collects the most trash during lunch will win. We have prizes, uh, Jamba cards, uh, candy, and and plushies so get involved make a team of, of four seventh graders and let's do this go green green team challenge get a team together and sign up Monday and Tuesday for the Green Team Challenge. The challenge will be on Wednesday, February 9th, and there will be prizes. Do you know why our school is named Samuel Jackman? Who is Samuel Jackman? That time traveled back in time. 1816, the year of the American Slaver War and the start of the end of slavery. In the middle of all this chaos, there lives a simple man. Samuel H. Jackman was born on July 20th, 1831, in Grand Fond, country, New Hampshire. 
he taught school during the winter of 1860 and 1861, then decided to join the immigrant train heading to California. On the way there, he was shot in the leg by Indians, but managed to survive and reach Sacramento in July. A couple years after arriving, he became superintendent of many schools in the Sacramento County. After 14 years of teaching, he abandoned it in 1884. Later on, he operated a ranch until he retired in 1909. After tragically dying on October 11, 1928, at the age of 97, the Elk Grove Name Committee selected Samuel Jackman to name after our school. 25 years later, Samuel Jackman was built. The school had 42 rooms, including portables, a multi-purpose room, a library, a gymnasium, a weight room, a field area, and a track for PE. Once the school opened, the students were required to wear uniforms. Here's Ms. Pylin on more details. Uh, my first year teaching was July in 1993. The uniforms, that was a couple years after I started at Jackman. There were pluses and minuses. Some kids wore them, some kids didn't. Overall, it was a nice try, but it didn't really work out. They were strict on the uniforms, but uh, parents could still opt their children out, so we always had some kids that weren't in uniform. And I think for some kids it was hard to find them because they had to wear navy blue pants and a white shirt. So sometimes it was difficult. Thanks, Con. The clubs that are meeting next week are Monday's Jackman Adventures Leagues meets from 2.45 p.m. until 5 p.m. You don't have to stay the whole time. Tuesdays, Leading Through Adversity at 2.45 p.m. in the library. Wednesdays is Robotics Club. They meet at 1.45 in D2. Thursdays is Club Live and Dance Team. Club Live meets in F2 and Dance Team meets in B2, both at 2.45 p.m. Friday is Go Green Club, and they are working on the garden. It meets right after school in F4 or the garden. Safe Club will have the first meeting after school in L14 at 2.45 p.m. on Fridays, February 11th. Come to, make the new, come to make new friends, do activities, learn about Southeast Asian culture, and have the college experience about, about the college experience and have fun. This concludes the Riverhawk News. Make sure to be safe, be responsible, and make good choices. Owning it. Owning it. Owning it. Owning it. With purpose. 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 With purpose.